Bum, ba, da, dum. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm your host, Banjo Ben, here on your website that teaches you banjo, guitar, and mandolin each and every week. Next week, we're learning the guitar part to this duet. This week is the mandolin part to this classic hymn, Softly and Tenderly. I grew up singing this song, as I'm sure many of you did, so it holds a special place in my heart. And the person it sings about holds a very special place in my heart as my Lord, Jesus Christ. What we're going to do here in just a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, but we're going to learn every single note of the solo. But more than that, I think it's really cool. We're going to learn all the notes of the backup that I played when the guitar was playing solo. And that's great because that's going to transfer over into tons of other um, situations and songs where you need good mandolin um, cross picking backup. Over there on the side, I also have another video where I play both parts through very, very slowly. And we've got tabs in both uh, PDF and TEF file form. But then I also have downloadable rhythm tracks. Okay, so I've got the MP3 of the song with both uh, instruments and then MP3 with each instrument solos. So you can download those and practice along with them. I've got everything you need to learn this beautiful old hymn. Let's dive into the verse solo of Softly and Tenderly. Let's learn a version of Softly and Tenderly on the mandolin. We're going to be in the key of G. And Softly and Tenderly is in 3-4 time or waltz time. That means that there's three beats in each measure. Now we're going to start off learning the solo. Uh, which starts in measure 37. We'll go ahead and throw that up. And then on the website, I have other videos that teach us how to play um, that backup that we play behind the guitar solo. All right. Um, don't hold too tightly, too closely to the pick direction markings beneath each one of the notes, those little arrows beneath the notes. Um, because the song's going so slow, you could almost play the whole thing with just downstrokes if you wanted. These are suggestions, but I find myself even playing it differently. Uh, each time I play it through, if I'm playing a faster song, that's less likely to happen. Uh, but we start off in measure 37. We're really going to try to follow the melody closely, and then we're going to throw in harmony notes as we go. So the toughest part about playing this is not necessarily, it's definitely not the speed. The toughest thing is making clear chords whenever and then making clear changes and trying to get these strings to ring out. That's what we're after. Um, but we're going to start measure 37th seventh fret of the E string with our pinky. Softly in. Okay. If you know the song, it's pretty easy to pick out that melody. Measure 38, we're going to um, go ahead and add one harmony note. And we're just going to make this open G chord position, second fret of the A string, third fret of the E string. We're going to play both of those notes together and then drop down to 2nd fret and open, and then back to 2nd and 3rd fret. But when we get to measure 39, we're going to see a technique here that we're going to use quite a bit in this version. It's called a brush. Um, it kind of reminds us of a harp, but what it means is we're going to brush through the strings a, a little more slowly so that all the strings can be heard separately. Sounds like that. Doesn't that kind of remind you of a harp? But we're going to do 2nd fret on the D string, 3rd fret, on the A string, fifth fret with our pinky on the E string. Then the second beat of measure 39, we've got that third fret up there. You can reach up and play it with your middle finger, or I will typically just kind of flatten out my middle finger, keep that chord down, flatten out my middle finger, and catch it. But it's whatever you want to do. At the end of measure 39, we've got a 16th note slide. Um, it's faster than everything else we're playing. We're going to slide from fifth to seventh fret and then play the third fret of the E string. So it sounds like this. And then we've got another 16th note hammer on in measure 40. It sounds like that. And then the last three notes. Okay, so let's just play those four measures together. Uh, starting in measure 37, I'll play it slowly. When we get to measure 41, we're going to an E minor chord. And the E minor chord I'm going to make, we're going to bar the middle two strings on the second fret. And a lot of people like to bar it straight up and down like a guitar. That, that makes it really tough. Whenever I bar it, I really flatten out that finger like a pancake, and I'm pointing almost back up towards my right shoulder. And then I'm going to play that third fret on the E string with my, with my ring finger. And we're going to brush through it again. And the key there is to keep that chord down as you play those uh, second and third beats there so that chord rings out all throughout measure 41. 
Now we're going to move quickly to another chord. Um, it's a form of an A chord, measure 42, second fret on the D string, fourth fret on the A string, and then with our pinky we're going to stretch out and grab that seventh fret. One and two and three and. So measure 41 and 42 together, sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, and three, and. And then when we get to measure 43, we've got some more eighth notes here. Pretty simple, we're just going through the strings. But in 44, we're gonna start it off with a 16th note slide. And that's just, um, just kind of a little ornament. Uh, you can just play the second fret there. But I like the sound of that little slide. When we land on that fifth fret of the A string, we're going to immediately slide it up to the seventh fret to put us in position to continue on. Then three, five. And now we've got another big brush in 45. The fifth fret of the uh, A string, the uh, seventh fret, of the E string, and we're going to brush through all four strings. Now on that one, I, I do typically just catch that fifth fret on the E string by flattening out this finger so that the chord can ring out. So let's just play 41 through 45, it sounds like this. Remember, I'll have another video here on the site where I play through the whole thing slowly from start to finish. When we get to measure 46, 